All right, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is I'm doing something a little bit different than I would normally do. Uh, well, actually not really. It's just another unboxing right here. I'm just going to be discussing if you guys should sell or hold the NBA dunks if you've had any of them, the Chicago ones, the Nets pair, whatever one it is, the Knicks pair. I'll just be kind of going through them. Uh, I mean, not the Knicks pair. I won't be going through that one. But if you have that one, I mean, just I wouldn't hold, sell. That's just a brick in my opinion. But there's these other two ones, the Chicago and Nets ones I want to discuss. And I actually have one of them in hand to show you all. So if you all want more content like this, feel free to subscribe and like down below. Don't forget, I'm heading back to Charlotte this weekend. And when I'm back in Charlotte, that's the time that I'm going to post a 50K giveaway and do all that. So stay tuned. Go on my Instagram right there. The 50K giveaway is being posted this weekend. We're giving away either lot uh, number two three or lot number 15 one of those off-white dunks we're going to be giving away to whatever the winner chooses whatever size just stay tuned there on my instagram all that will be down below you'll we'll see it later in the video too but it's just down there for reference and yeah i'm doing this video a little bit different vlog style i just kind of want to do it like this kind of hold the camera and i thought it might be a bit better so why don't i get into reviewing these shoes i have right here for y'all and let's do that so first things first i mean we'll just kind of combine the outro and all that i guess but really what we got right here as you guys can see i got a size 10 Copped them straight up the Nike app for retail. I got two-day shipping. I was like, you know what? Maybe if I put two-day shipping, Nike will like me more. And uh, yeah, I was able to hit my personal size, a size 10, one of the most stocked sizes. Hence why in this colorway in particular right here, the Nets version, uh, which I have the other shoe on my desk over here. But the reason that this is going for the least amount in a size 10, right now size 10s are going for around 140, 150. And the prices have been dropping, but they're kind of settled now at around 140, 150. And the reason is, is because again, size 10 is pretty much the most stock size in any shoe but overall if you want to look in the small details on this kick we'll discuss the prices of it and what i think it'll do later on i obviously think it's a decent hold any shoe that's related specifically to a team i mean it's going to have some sort of hype around it pretty much always because i mean look nets fans you see how stacked the nets are nowadays uh i mean at least with the players that are on the nets i mean there's going to be people wanting these shoes you know to, to rip the nets you know Brook brooklyn brooklyn's gonna want these shoes so i mean it kind of makes sense to me you know so seeing these at around 140 150 on a size 10 i'm just like there's no way i would sell these two right now and also kind of looking at it a little bit it looks slightly like the georgetown dunk low with this kind of navy and also with this toe box it's not a white toe box one of the first dunks in a while well maybe not in a while they've been dropping a couple ones recently the midas gold uh championship red some other ones like that that do not have a white toe box but this is one of those ones again that does not so it makes it a little bit harder to hold in my opinion but because of this being team specific uh and you know all that i think that leaves a lot of room for this one to be more valuable in the future and of course some small details on it like right here you have the diamond hopefully that'll focus for me i'll try and get it to do that so hopefully it will be you all can see maybe maybe in the center right there you can see it's a little reflective so it's gonna be hard to see you but the diamond right there uh kind of right here on this tag you all can see that hopefully uh it's on the laces and that's kind of a small detail they've had on this pair and also on the chicago excuse me on the chicago pair which is black and red so y'all can notice that that's why that one's called the chicago these, these ones obviously aren't the chicago ones this is the nets one i've already showed you the nets logo too so I mean hopefully that's enough said but also don't forget another reason I would think this shoe could go up is it's a 75th anniversary shoe so don't forget since it is that diamond year uh, that's what they've been calling it in the NBA the diamond year so since people have been referring to it as this this is like specifically related to that so it's not maybe super limited since you see what prices are kind of uh, going for but I think people have also underrated this shoe because if you look at it I mean if you wore these together this would be a clean fit like this is an easy pair of shoes to wear like look at this very, very, very easy pair of shoes to wear. I mean, look at that. That's a wearable pair of shoes right there. You know, like this is nothing easy, easy to put a fit together with. The colors aren't necessarily anything uh, that are too out there. And it's actually nice. You know, it's got the 75th anniversary tag. So it has special edition tags. It has a team logo on it. The back of the shoe is super clean. Look at that. I mean, they got the red, uh, red embroidery on the letters. Like these are personally a little bit underrated in my opinion to be going for at least 150 in size 10s. But again, these did drop in the Nike app. They probably loaded up stock for these. That's why I was a little bit shocked when I hit, but at the same time, it was like okay how lucky did i really get was that was this like realistic for me to hit that's just kind of what i think i just want to show you all the details everything about it normal nike dunk box just really everything about this shoe we'll be having tons more in hand reviews like this one and i want to kind of get now again discussing the charts and everything why i think it'll go up but i just want to show you all this real quick and don't forget uh, yeah, a little bit like the Georgetown Dunk Low, aside from, of course, his white portion, but this is kind of a different pair of shoes, and I'm just going to be holding on to mine because I got them for retail, so no reason not to, but also, uh, there's no way I would sell these for 140 right now. It's a team-specific dunk, like, you know, like, why would you do that to yourself? Unless you sold these for, like, 200 plus, 
wouldn't do it right now. And let me explain why. All right, and here we are. We're back with the screen recording. I just started it right now. I literally just clicked the button. Uh, but y'all can see again. I just want to put this up real quick. Instagrams, all that. Feel free to check those. But that's not, again, I just left that on the screen because I was thinking I was going to do some sort of outro or film this video a little differently than I have so far. But aside from this, if you want to look at this dunk right here, I will point you out one good example that I can compare this dunk to. Now, first things first, the Chicago dunks are going for a significant amount more. And also these have that white uh, toe box, you know, kind of color blocking. So this one's very obvious that it's going to go up too. It's also a Chicago colorway. They're calling it the, the Chicago edition, 71st. Like th this one's a very obvious hold. I don't have to explain this one, you know, in my opinion, like sh Chicago colorway, uh, it's it's classic style color blocking. It's a dunk, it's 2021, dunks are hyped. Like, you know, th th this one's a little bit more obvious. And if you're looking for what sizes to buy, it would obviously be anything above an 11, maybe above a 12 if you're trying to be really specific for dunks. Uh, but usually above 11 is kind of those sizes that go for a bit more. But this is not the one we're discussing. I mean, we are discussing NBA dunks, it's in the title, but this one in particular, just know this one's a good hold, I think at least. Uh, I really like kind of the style of it. People called this one a satin snake dunk low, and when I heard that, I was just like, yeah, that's a great comparison. So. Another one too, again, the Nets dunk low. You see what it's going for right now. I mean, look, the max, the max price on one of them, I think is like 160 right now, the highest ask on one of these sizes. Yeah, for eight and a half, the highest ask, 160. That's the highest ask out of any sizes. So you see these ones, all sizes of this dunk are going for under 160. There's not many dunks that are like this one or team specific that are A, going near the retail because you think dunks, again, after the retail and everything, I paid like 115 on the shoe. So if I sold this for 140 right now, I'd make 25 bucks. And then after shipping and everything, I mean, shoot, I'd probably make like $15. And then if you sell it through StockX, you're definitely not making more than a couple bucks, maybe not even anything. So I just, I don't see the point of selling this one right now. Of course, I could see it being worth more. Just again, it's, it's, it has something, it has some sort of, um, it's not like just any other dunk glove. Like this one actually has some meaning to it. Like it's made specifically for team for 75th anniversary. It has special details on it. It's not just like your regular, oh, this is another colorway of dunk clothes with, you know, kind of irregular color blocking. Like this is one that actually has this style of color blocking for a reason like this is not like a nuts colorway you know so it makes it just makes a lot more sense to me like everything about the shoe how they designed it i think it'll go up just because people are undercutting it right now like they're just getting their pairs off the nike app and they're just like oh you know i i don't really care you know my my mom paid for it or i don't know you know like i don't know how people live so i'm not gonna assume but you know it's like a lot of people just don't care what they're selling for because maybe they're younger and they, they don't care about you know taking a profit loss because it doesn't affect them so you know that it just it makes sense to me but that's just what i think i could see these ones easily being a 200 dollars shoe like 200 220 i think is a good range uh for these nets dunk lows and i think for the chicago ones honestly these ones could probably settle i mean uh, well we'll see this would probably be one that do better long term but i mean i think let, let, me, let me rephrase this so this one probably around 180 200 220 i could see being realistic and then for this one right here i could see around you know the range that it's at right now it's around 200 220 so i could see this one probably being up at around 250 270 but i mean if this one went up to 250 270 i'd be a little bit surprised only reason it probably would is just because it has chicago and you know that colorway and association but it's just it's already kind of at a good price you know and i i don't know it just we have it's like the dunk the dunk wave will eventually fall off and when i don't know but people are still paying crazy prices for dunks so not anytime soon but that's everything i need to mention right there i wasn't even planning to film a video today i said i was going to do some sort of different like banger video which that, that's not what i filmed right here y'all will see something on friday or saturday um depending on when i decide to post but just stay tuned to the channel y'all will see a video so check my instagrams any of that down below that's on the screen and they'll be there of course i think these nets dunk lows um since you know you've seen all this on, on the screen i'll end that i just really want to you know again further in the outro but these are clean i think maybe not underrated but I, I just think in terms of what they're going for like they don't add a lot of small details on dunks like this you know and actually make it look not half bad like these look like kind of like a usa dunk in my opinion so just like it's just they're going for a little low these ones especially i could see them being worth way more so that's everything i'm tristan thank you for watching and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the video friday or saturday and that giveaway is getting posted on the instagram for lot dunk don't forget we're giving away either lot number two three or 15 of those dunks for off whites one of one of the 50 just stay tuned so yeah shout out secrets also get me with that giveaway we're doing it with them so i'll catch y'all in the next video hopefully peace